Takai now, it's 5 o'clock on this March 26, 2014 on Wednesday evening. Time now for what I'm going to PJ Wednesday evening report. Wednesday evening, March 26, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Our congregation is at 5 o'clock in North Massachusetts. It's got a temperature of 38 degrees with overcast skies. Fibonacci 25%. Wind speed northwest about 17, gets it up to 28 miles per hour, 20 to 60 degrees, which is 2.5 degrees. Visibility really time out, wind chill about 29 degrees. All right, let's take a look at our radar scope. It shows. And obviously, what's contributing to the situation is the wind. Not only is it cold, Couple of events of snow showers in southeastern portions of Massachusetts. Couple of events of snow showers in western Nantucket. Snow showers off the Cape, east outer Cape Downs, and stretching up the east Main Avenue. The burns are going to Nova Scotia and covering much of Prince Standard Island here. Sleet showers in southern portions of Nova Scotia. Rain showers off the Nova Scotia coastline here. And a couple of events of snow showers west and central portions of New York City up in the eastern New York and up in Vermont, New Hampshire, west remain and up in the eastern portions of Quebec. Here. Let's take a look at our right rain showers down for southeast of portions of Texas from Corpus Christi down for Houston down for western and Louisiana and rain showers off the southeast of Louisiana off New Orleans. There. Rain showers in the north of portions of Texas and down for western North. Kentucky and down for eastern Oklahoma and down for Kansas. Here. And a couple of blood popcorn clusters of rain showers and sleet and snow showers for northern Arizona and New Mexico stretching down for Utah, Colorado, down for Wyoming and Idaho and down in Montana and bubs of snow showers around southern and northern portions of Nevada down for southeastern portions of Nevada versus some rain showers. Rain, blobs of rain showers from Central and West Northern California, course, on up to the Washington and Oregon near some slate and snow showers in them. Olympic and Cascade Mountains of Washington and Oregon and stretch of the down through the Sierras of California here. A couple of events of snow showers in the eastern portion of British Columbia down for Alberta and stretching around at 7 Saskatchewan down for 7 Manitoba and stretching around in the northeastern portion of North Dakota down in northern Minnesota down for Central UP and Michigan down for northeastern portion of Washington of Wisconsin. Timur, North Dakota, good afternoon. Good evening, 45 degrees with clear skies. Let's take a look at our satellite look there. A couple of events of clouds. Pinwheel cuts off the New England coast had stretched down for New England and for Quebec and then for Atlanta, Canada. Never batch cuts from western Portugal and Florida stretched down northeast of Mexico, stretched down up to Louisiana, up to Texas, down for Nova Dakota, down for eastern Kansas, down for Missouri, down for southeast of Nebraska, down for Iowa, and stretched down in Illinois and Wisconsin, and a little bit to cuts from northern Minnesota, stretched down over much of the western third of the nation, and down for Ontario, stretched down for Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta, and down for British Columbia. Here. Dealing with this fire and 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 to John's point. Okay, let us take a look at our map situation here. Station from um, South Dakota, stretch it out from Montana down to Northern Idaho, Montana, up into the British Columbia. Cold front from Southeast Eastern California down for Southern Nevada, down for Utah, down for Wyoming. And station from um, Vermont up into the Quebec here. And front of boundary from Western Nebraska down for Kansas, down for New Mexico. Front of boundary from East Central Portions of Alabama, stretch it out over in Georgia, down for Western Carolina. Is there? Cold front off the Southern Florida coast on the Front of the station for off Haiti and searching out to see. We got it. Low pressure in Idaho, Eastern Wyoming, Southern Utah, and Eastern Southeastern Colorado. We got 34 degrees out there for now. Boston is 38 out in Washington, D.C., 51 out in Atlanta, 71 in. Mm -hmm. Miami 72 in Brownsville, 56 in Dallas, Texas, 57 in Kansas City, 37 in Chicago, 38 in Minneapolis, 65 in Albuquerque, 64 in Denver, 46 in Salt Lake City, 65 in Los Angeles, 57 in San Francisco, 50 in Seattle, and 37 in Great Falls, Montana. Regional temperatures, we got 34 degrees for Boston, and 34 for Bedford and Fitchburg, 33 in Beverly, 32 in Gloucester, 35 in Norwood, 36 in Taunton, 35 in New Bedford, 32 in Falmouth, 34 out in Provincetown, 34 in Marfa's Vineyard, 30 in Nantucket, 36 out in Bach County, 37 in Wesley, 36 in Warwick, 34 in Smithfield, 32 in 
Control. Webster 33 and Sturbridge 35 out in Milford 30 and Worcester 31 and Gunner 34 and Greenfield 30 and Amherst 34 and Springfield 27 and Pittsfield 30 and North Adams 32 out in Albany 29 and Mainton 20 and Keene 30 and Coonunker 34 for Nashua and Pottsford Nashua 29 Manchester Nashua 35 and Winslow 35 and Hartford 33 and Meriden 30 and Waterbury 33 and Denbury 38 and Bridgeport 34 and New Haven 35 and New London we got 37 for Montauk 36 for Islip and 37 for New York City. Okay, let us take a look at our HBC forecast discussion here. It is an updated, so. Let's go to the forecast discussion for New England here. 422 p.m. update. Windy and cold weather on top of tonight in the wake of the localized blizzard that affected the Cape Town this morning. Dry and somewhat milder weather then returns for Wednesday to Thursday. Milder day returns at the end of the week, winds in the next weekend with a chance of some showers Friday to Sunday. Dry weather looks to return for the beginning of the work week. Near term, until 6 a.m. Thursday morning, winds only slowly diminish. To that log with windshield valves below trade zero to head above. The powerful extra tropical bob that brought a localized blizzard hurricane force with gusts to the Cape of Downs west, west and northeast towards the Kennedy Bear Tops. Not that the deployed slight still shots will be exited the outer Cape that taken by early evening, though additional conditions will be expected. While winds will be gradually diminished tonight, the remaining flat stretch for much of the day did blow the drift to Snow Bay, with all the localized windows visibility at times in the day, even across the Cape Downs, but certainly nothing like what occurred earlier today. Janet, thank you. And, and is Jason was posted until 8 p.m. this evening. Uh, traffic. But they may need to be extended along or along the coast. That rise up. Winds will be gradually diminished tonight, but it will be a slow process. Sky should clear up from west to east as much drier races beyond. The powerful storm low temperatures will be quite as cool for late March, but none of the coming winds should keep readings from. Probably not low mainland teens and 20s by daybreak. And wind chill fails between 0 and 10 miles from up to the night. Your best bet is just to avoid the area altogether. The only thing that I can tell you is based on this morning's rush hour, there are very few cars on the road. I think this morning's uh, winter weather scared a lot of people from going to work, so hopefully that's going to alleviate some of those delays that we normally see during the evening rush. Now, here's where we've got some of those closures right now. Hardest Thorough Drive, again, one lane has been reopened eastbound right after Kenmore Square. That's still going to be really backed up. And on the opposite side of the roadway... And this just in from the U.S. Weather Service on Facebook page. Wind and lines are switched with a strong temperature with gusts too far to even their eyes. There's no press with gusts are about 50 miles back to your cross. The Mia East Coast. Cape Cod and Adams is with, well, as adjacent waters over the next several hours with wind gusts up to 40 50 miles per hour across the interior. And this should do it. Work with cold and beyond the departed strong storm. Get that out of that extra blanket before you go to bed tonight because it is going to be another frigid night. And maximum wind just one day evening uh, widespread 40 to 50 miles per hour for much inland region with about 50 to 60 miles per hour or more for the Cape Nay Islands and states at Boston. Rick Lowe would be 16 set in 1973. Hartford 16 degrees set in 1960. Providence 16 set in 1965. And Worcester 11 in 1965. And teams from much region 20s by the Cape Nay Islands and single digits in western Massachusetts up to Vermont, upstate New York, and southwestern New Hampshire. All right, let's take a look at our... Well, GC, you know, a big part of this battle is just coordination on the ground. 78 forecasts are go like this. Fire trucks, and they're really having to shuffle to get around here because what they're doing... Let's take a look at our 78 forecast. Oh, let's take a look at our... I cam outside my house, and it is... Sun's trying to peek out of the clouds. And still breezy, but not as bad as this morning when it was ferocious. Heard in Nantucket it got about 83 miles per hour wind gusts. It caused a lot of winds, snow, and power outages out in the Cape Town. So, okay, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. I tell you, this has been such a dramatic day for these firefighters. For tonight. It is going to be mostly cloudy during the early evening, then gradual clearing with a lower around 17 degrees. Windy with a west wind about 21 to 26 miles per hour, decreased a little bit of 60 miles per hour after midnight. Winds could gust as high as 45 miles per hour. Thursday, increased the clouds with a high of 42 degrees. West wind about 10 miles per hour, with gusts as high as 26 miles per hour. Thursday night, 
Most of the cats got low in three one degrees. South with about eight to ten miles per good size, twenty two miles per Friday. Chance of showers mainly after eleven a.m. Most of the cats got about high to fifty five degrees. Breezy with a south wind about thirteen twenty two miles per hour. Good size, thirty eight nine miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is fifty percent. New precipitation about less than the temperature inch possible. Friday. Shadow like they barely before 9 p.m. Most of the cats got low thirty seven degrees. South west with about seven to seventeen miles per hour. Good size, thirty four miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is six percent. Saturday, rain like the rain after 3 p.m. Most of the sky high near 51 degrees. Chance of participation in 60%. Saturday, rain likely, class got low 34 degrees. Chance of participation in 70%. Sunday, rain likely, class got high near 42 degrees. Chance of participation in 70%. Saturday night, chance of rain still asleep. Most of the sky got low 31 degrees. Chance of participation is 40%. Right, Monday, chance of rain shower still asleep. Most of the sky high near 46 degrees. Chance of participation is 30%. Right, right. Monday night, hot class got low 31 degrees. Tuesday, fast sky high near 50 degrees. And Tuesday night, most of the guys got low 30 degrees of Wednesday, but the sets got added to 48 degrees. Peter, what a phrase of the day! Good evening. Still windy tonight and chilly on top of the night. This is Beijing Wednesday. We have a good evening with good positive attitude. I'll be seeing you at 11. Have a good evening.